In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Cura software for printing with the ANET A8, and we're starting right now. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I'd like to help you being more successful with 3D printing. And if you're here for the first time, please consider subscribing so you don't miss anything. So this video is a direct reaction to one of your comments and this shows you can really have some impact on this channel. So if you have any requests, ideas for content that I should produce for you, please put it in the comment section of my videos. So we're gonna start right into Cura now and I'm gonna walk you through the steps needed for the ANIT AA to be able to be used with Cura. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do uh, when you start Cura, for the first time, you're probably getting a dialog to add a new printer. If you don't get this dialog because you might have another printer already installed, you will need to go to this menu here and then say add printer. In this add printer menu, um, I'm going to do uh, add a non-networked printer. And then I'm going down to the custom section. I'm selecting custom FFF printer. And I need to make sure that I can see this little printer name field. And here we can enter the name for our printer. So let's add the printer name ANIT A8 here. And then select the Add button. So the next dialog is basically the machine settings for the ANIT A8 for your printer. And we are doing some very basic default settings here. Um, you know the printer has some dimensions. So we know that the ANIT A8 has 220 by 220 millimeters of heat bed size and the printing height is actually 240 millimeters. The build plate is a rectangular build shape. Origin at center is something that you shouldn't enable because our printer's origin is 00, zero at the front left corner. So leave that unchecked. Then we have a heated bed, which you should check. We are using the Marlin G-code flavor, which is fine. Uh, let's make this dialog a little bit wider so we can see the rest. Then the print head settings I'm actually leaving unchanged. The gun tree height um, I'm leaving unchanged. I have one extruder. Then we have the start and the end G code section. Um, these default values are very, very basic. They, they normally work, but I have made some changes because I actually want to prime the extruder a little bit differently. So if you want to use my settings, I'm putting my start and end G codes in the description of this video. So let's leave that unchanged for now. And then we can go to the extruder section. Uh, here we go. And we have to make some changes. For example, the material size is 1.75 millimeters. That's a mistake that some people make and then they get under extrusion uh, because they have uh, selected a too large material size. Well, and anything else you can basically leave as it is. So now we have confirmed um, to add this printer to our printer list. The next thing we want to change is some of the default print settings. And in Cura 4.1, this is a little bit different than in the previous versions. So we can actually open this menu here, uh, which is the printer settings. And then we can add some custom settings here. So we should make sure that um, we select some profile first. So let's say we want to do some draft quality. And then we should make sure that we are actually selecting the right values here. So for my case, I'm normally using something between 10 and 20% infill. Then the material printing temperature. Yeah, that's depending on the material. Of course, for me, I'm using mostly PLA and 200 degrees is fine for me. The build plate temperature, I would say something between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius is perfectly fine. Uh, with 60 degrees, you um, might be running into some warping issues already. So I would rather go with a little bit of a lower temperature. So 50 degrees is normally perfect for me. Then we have uh, retraction enabled. Um, the default retraction settings are normally fine, but you can change them later. Print speed 60 millimeter per second is also the right thing for the ANIT A8. Uh, you can go faster, but you will get sort of the best results with 60 millimeters and below. Then we have the cooling settings. Um, that's also enabled, that's, that's okay. So support material is normally not needed unless you have something that's really do, uh, creating some overhangs. So I'm not enabling that by default. 
Build plate adhesion, well, that depends very much what you actually need. If you have parts that uh, easily warp, uh, that are maybe a little bit thinner than normal and maybe uh, you will see some warping, then you might add some build plate adhesion. I'm normally selecting the skirt because I want to have the extruder primed um, in the first rounds of printing. So I really want to make sure that nothing is stuck in the extruder and it really starts printing. Sometimes I have the effect that when the sprint actually starts, the first 10 centimeters, there's nothing coming out of the nozzle and then it starts extruding at some point. So the skirt helps a little bit with that. It starts extruding on the outside of the print and then when it actually goes to print the actual print it's already extruding and that's um, something that i normally do well and that's basically it um there is you can you can normally leave the settings as they are and with these kind of default settings you should be having a good starting point at least with pla printing and using cura so the next thing you might want to do with your new printer setup is to test out an initial print i'm going to thingiverse.com where you can find uh, lots of lots of sample print models and you can uh, just search for something like uh, Benchy, which is normally the, the benchmark test for your printer to see if there's any issues. So I would go here and uh, for example use this kind of Benchy file and then download the STL file. And after downloading the STL file I will open it in Cura. So let's switch over to Cura and then go to the file menu and open from the downloads menu the, uh, the Iron Throne Benchy. And that puts the Benchy uh, on top of the build plate. So this is the default. Um, you can now rotate the object, but we just want to get started with printing. So let's make sure we can see the, the slicer button, which is here. And when you hit that slice button, it gets converted into the Marlin G code uh, that's needed to be printed on your printer. So we're gonna hit slice. Okay, so the slicing is done. The next thing is to use an SD card and copy the G code file to that SD card. So you can say save to file and then copy that little G code file onto your SD card. So I've selected to print this file from the printer menu. Um, it's normally done by using the init SD card menu and then opening that file and it should start printing right away. Um, that's all I have to say about how to use Cura with the init A8 as a very first setup. And I hope you were successful. If not, go to the comment section, ask me questions. I hope to see you next time on this channel for another video about 3D printing. And in the meanwhile, have fun 3D printing. See you next time.